Once upon a time, every little country community had a blacksmith. Boona in the Scenic Rim was no exception. In fact, there's still a bloke here in town who's pretty handy at shaping metal with fire. Forget bellows and forge, this modern day smithy wields an oxy welder to shape whimsical metal sculptures. Christopher Trotter is a renowned artist with works on show all over the Great Southeast and across the green fields of his Boona property. It's like an outdoor art gallery crossed with a crazy junkyard. Chris, this is pretty much an incredible man cave. How do you know where to find everything? <laughs> well, you'd think there, it looks like there's no order, but this is like a library of materials that I've been collecting for like 20 odd years. And believe it or not, I pretty much know where everything is. So does every piece speak to you? I've collected them all for that reason. They speak to me, but whether I use them, I might use a piece in like 10, 15 years time, you never know, but they're just amazing objects and it's a shame to see them just get chopped up and recycled. Inspired by Mother Nature and Dr. Zeus, Chris uses scrap from the mining, aviation and motor industries to make machines that are artistic, rustic and organic all at once. You should have a look at this thing. This thing's called the vomiter. It's probably one of my more unusual pieces. <laughs> and don't tell me it vomits. Well, it does. It's basically built about an old sludge pump. So we've got an old stationary engine that pumps water up through this head and it, it surges. Chris is among the country artists welcoming the public into their creative world as part of the open studios of the Scenic Rim. You'll find another above Boona's historic Maynard store. This is head office for milliner Kimberly Saksuski, who uses traditional blocking techniques to make contemporary hats. There's a lot of tradition, but I'm trying not to be just a one-trick pony with hats. I, I'm, you know, I'm keen to make different hats, things that people haven't seen before. And your inspiration for your creative pieces, where does it come from, Kimberly? I'm loving steampunk at the moment and Victoriana, and I love the big bulbous shapes on top of uh, uh, you know, the, the space above the head. And I love a close hat. I don't really like a big brim. I love something that's close because it shapes down to your face. I like old style hats, top hats, but I'm really trying to create my own signature um, shape as well. There's the chance to create your own signature work during Boona's Open Studios weekend in May. Bettina Mosca is one of the artists holding demonstrations and workshops during the event. Today, she's giving me a lesson in batik, creating patterns on fabric using hot wax, dye and stamps. When I'm teaching, I usually uh, use these stamps here that I've made. They look like toilet rolls. Because they are. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just 60 seconds in the hot wax and my dunny roll stamp is ready to make art. Bettina, I've, I've got to ask though, I remember wearing batik when I was going to the surf and here you are making beautiful batik fabrics out in the middle of the country. <laughs> yeah, no, it's probably a bit strange, isn't it? Um, batik, as I remember it, and many others would, um, is sort of the brown, blue stuff from the 70s. Well, it, you can do so much more than that with it. So Laurel, you've now put the wax around and it creates like a little dam, which we can then take over to the colour. So that little wax uh, mark there is like a little wall, it's like a That's little right. boundary, and it'll That's stop right. the colour from bleeding through. That's right, yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Make your own creative mark and see country-based artists at work during open studios of the Scenic Rim, being held in Boona and the surrounding district on the 24th and 25th of May. Check the website for details of participating artists, workshops and demonstrations. <laughs> <laughs>